What's your best but wait, it gets worse story. Went to my eye doctor for my annual checkup, he says huh there's a spot there that wasn't there last year, you need to go see this specialist. So I did. Then he said ah yeah, this looks bad go to this other specialist in Miami. I go to Miami, they go yeah it's a mole don't worry about it and call us if you notice any changes. But wait, it gets worse. A couple of years later I go back for another checkup and mention my eyesight got a bit worse, my eye doctor goes hmm that thing got bigger. Yeah you should probably go get that thing looked at again. So, back to Miami. Specialist goes okay, well it's cancerous now, I need you in surgery next week, I have to figure out how to save your life. A week later they do a biopsy and find out my eyesight got worse because it created a cataract, so they fix that too. Then the following week I go and get a mother docking radiation patch attached to my eye for 3 days. But wait, it gets worse. So, I think I'm past the worst of it until one morning I wake up and I've gone completely blind in that eye and I'm in searing pain. Another drive to Miami. The ducking tumor exploded in my eye. Tumor necrosis is the medical term. Very rare complication. They sit me down and go, hey that I may have to go. Sorry dude. But wait, it didn't get worse after that. Thanks to some intensive therapy I didn't lose the eye, in fact they were even able to save my vision a few months later with reconstructive surgery. Friend of mine just lost her ex-husband and father of her child to a motorcycle accident. But wait, it gets worse. 15-year-old son had a birthday a few days after the accident. Gift arrived in the mail day of the birthday, his father had gotten him motorcycle lessons. Just heartbreaking. A co-worker of mine, we'll call Andy, had a brother we'll call Mike. Mike's wife died from cancer leaving Mike and his two kids who were around 5 and 7 years old. But wait, it gets worse. Overcome with grief, Mike ended up killing himself, leaving behind his two kids. But wait, it gets worse. Andy had to sue his own parents to get custody of Mike's kids due to several issues with the grandparents. But wait, it gets worse. Andy's wife died suddenly leaving Andy to take care of Mike's two kids and his two kids around the same age. This all happened over a three-year span. I was a manager at a hotel in Oakland. A valet parker took a guest's Corvette out for a joyride. He lost control of the car in a residential area and crashed into a parked car in a driveway. The Corvette and the parked car smashed through the home's garage door and caught on fire. The home partially burned down. The valet was caught by the police a block away fleeing on foot with a broken leg. I worked in an operating room and was on call. Arriving at the hospital, checked in with the doc and patient in pre-op. At least once per year we get someone with something stuck in their ass. The young man was there with his mom and sister, who explained the dildo got stuck Friday night, but that their grandma was sick so they waited until Sunday to bring him to the hospital so he could see her. Then per usual the family and patient is asked if they have any questions before we take him back. Mom says yeah, while he's in there can you test him for STDs? His sister tested positive and was operating the dildo so we want to make sure. I work at an office. The building is owned by my boss who is too cheap to shell out for actual maintenance service and has employees do handiwork around the clock. One day, it started to snow. The snow was sticking to the sidewalk and showed no signs of letting up so of course me and my co-workers had to go out and clean it. So while my boss sat in his nice, cushy office, we start shoveling. One of my co-workers, let's call him X, is relatively new and having grown up in an apartment complex, has never shoveled before. Well maybe that contributed to what happened next. He starts pushing the shovel in front of him at a crotch level. And eventually, the shovel head gets stuck on a raised brick and it pushes the handle end of the shovel into X's crotch. There was no shovel handle because he had been given a broken shovel with a rusted end. Castration being imminent, X proceeds to tuck and roll, off the sidewalk and into oncoming traffic. Fortunately for X, somebody grabbed him and pulled him back to safety. Boss drove him to the emergency room and paid for the resulting tetanus shot and 14 stitches on the inner thigh. Needless to say, he was not allowed to shovel again. A woman I know got divorced just days after her wedding because she discovered that her new husband had an affair. But wait, it gets worse. She found out because apparently he cheated on the wedding with his affair who also was invited. They were busted by the father of the bride. This happened about 10 years ago, my boyfriend called me in the morning and dumped me over the phone. 
I was really upset and forgot to finish the laundry I'd started so I had to go into work out of dress code. Of course, that would be the day our district manager was visiting and I got written up on the spot even though it was the first time I'd ever been out of dress code. Spent my break crying because the universe was just taking a dump on me. But wait it gets worse. When I got home that evening I had a notice of eviction taped to my door because we had apparently been illegally sublet the apartment and had no clue. Didn't even cry because at that point it was just yup. That seems about right for today. I had to remove my wisdom tooth in a really cheap dental clinic. The dentist has an eye problem in which she removes my tooth besides my wisdom tooth instead of my wisdom tooth with manual equipment. She then removes the not my wisdom tooth and as soon as she realizes her mistake she then began on my real wisdom tooth. But as soon as she started working on it the anesthesia began to wear off. At the end I have to get a huge stitch on the side of not my wisdom tooth was supposed to be and I have to go on my first day of work on Monday. An acquaintance got married in an extravagant $80,000 ceremony and broke up on their honeymoon. But wait, it gets worse. They split because the groom was cheating on the bride with a string of one night stands, meanwhile the bride was having an ongoing affair with the best man. But wait, it gets worse. They pretended to stay married for six months after out of shame but it all came tumbling down when he made a huge Facebook rant calling her a whore and tagging all their friends and family in it with the most dramatic shitstorm of a comments section known to humanity. But wait, it gets worse. The bride and the best man decided they wanted to have a baby and she immediately ran off with him and got knocked up. I currently live in a three-bed one-bath house. My roommates were getting married and had a bunch of bridesmaids over at the time. A couple of them stayed the night after drinking. I wake up the next morning with a massive shit festering in my stomach. Every move I make I feel it's just gonna squeeze out. I heard both girls in the bathroom giggling and getting ready. So I panic. Grab a roll of toilet paper and head to a remote part of the backyard. When I went out back, I left the door cracked enough for our shih tzu to sneak out. I didn't see him while I was shitting and ran back inside to grab a plastic bag. The girls had just walked into the living room. I chatted them up avoiding the fact that I just shit in the backyard. Finally they left and I returned to my shithole. It was half eaten and my little old dog was face down it, slurping it up. Disgusting right? I had to clean his face off with rags and water and soap. Before I could muster all of the items up, he jumped on the back patio furniture and ran his shitty little face through everything. Then he shook, as I walked up to him, flinging my own feces every which way. I finally cleaned him and put him inside. I cleaned up the couch pretty quickly and it being outside furniture, I was able to blast it down with a power hose. Not bad, right? Quick and easy? Nope. I walked back into a monstrosity. Poor guy ate the shit so fast, and it being shit, it didn't settle well. This isn't an exaggeration when I say that I counted 16 different piles of dog vomit feces throughout the house. Most of it on the couches. I, for the next 12 hours, cleaned up my own shit turned dog vomit basking in the smell of horrors for what felt like forever. I was on Tinder and met this girl. We talked for a bit and decided to exchange snaps. A few snaps and I find out she has a kid, we are both 18. But wait it gets worse. I find out she's not 18 like her profile but actually 15. But wait it gets worse. I tell her we can not talk at all and she says age isn't a problem my baby daddy is 21. And that's when I decided Tinder wasn't for me. When I was 6 years old the natural gas detector alarm kept going off so my mom had to call the fire department to check if there was any dangerous natural gases. The fire department came and basically scientifically told my mom that her constant farting kept setting it off. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.